G'day, Starlo here. Anson's Bay lies about 45 minutes drive over mostly dirt roads from St Helens in northeastern Tasmania. It consists of a tidal lake and river with an entrance channel to the sea near Policeman's Point. This estuary is serviced by a single lane boat ramp that's often heavily sanded and weeded up, but still usable. We've decided to have a look up the beautiful Anson's River first, which is famous for big black brim. You need to keep your wits about you navigating this river and one eye on the sounder, as plenty of unmarked rock bars lurk under those dark tannin stained waters. But it's hard not to be distracted by the gorgeous surroundings. The river flows out of stunning forests, which come all the way to the water's edge. It's prime habitat for brim, including some absolute bumpers. There you go, I told you Anson's Bay is renowned for big brim. That's not one of them. <laughs> That's so funny. Is so it any it's... bigger than the lure? Yeah, a little bit. Same colour. <laughs> oh, at least they, they can see it in this tanniny water. Mmm, it is very tanny. Oh, cutie! These trees look like Japanese bonsais. We brought Vera Michelle's from Ozfish Unlimited with us today for her first crack at brim on lures, and she took to the concept like a duck to water. I can't think of too many better places to kick off your brim luring career. It's got that real wilderness feel about it. She was already casting like a champion. It was only a matter of time until she pinned one, and there were a few here. I'm casting a floating diving Shimano Pavlo shad, which rises very slowly in this brackish water when paused, something that really seems to push the black brim's buttons. Yeah. We're pretty um, non-fussy with what we eat. Yeah, you eat everything? Oh, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, the colour of that. They're all gorgeous, darkly hued fish out of this system. Too good to kill, I reckon. Especially when this region offers so many better eating fish. We all get bigger ones than that. But if they keep increasing at the size they have, the next one should be huge. I was pretty confident we'd find some bigger brim along this rocky edge, and sure enough, Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and it's bigger again. They are increasing each time. Oh, yeah, that's nice one. Are they generally heading out there that distance from Yeah. Them? Okay, well, well probably winding in too quickly. Might get you throw me the net up here. This was a long way short of the lunkers that Anson Bay is famous for, but still a nice fish. And it had really smacked that Pablo shad. Beautiful colours. Jo was keeping her end up down the back too, chucking an old squidgy flick bait on a resin head jig. But eventually we all moved up front and Joe's coaching was working. If you stop and put in, uh, put in stops and starts, yeah. they'll, they might sit and watch it for the first pause and you move it again and they'll follow it and the next time you, you pause. Oh, like that? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Right, keep tight to it. Right up. Good girl. One. That's all right. Keep your pick, <laughs> pick tension on him. Don't let him. Yay. Oh, we won't let him. You can lift him up for the yeah. camera and smile. <laughs> <laughs> it was just purely to demonstrate. I'll get a photo of you, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Purely to demonstrate what we were talking about. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Lovely. With my awesome. baby. 
Yeah, but it's first blood, right? Vera went on to catch some much nicer brim too, and as the day warmed up, the fish seemed to become more active, hitting higher and higher in the water column. Is that on surface or? No, <laughs> it's on my little thing, but... Wow. <laughs> Sounded like a croc strike. Oh, it's like a barra. <laughs> this is crazy. He's only a little fella too. No, he's not really. He's not the smallest we've seen today. No. no, he's not that big, is he? No. So was it up near the surface when you took it or something? Yeah, just underneath that overhanging branch. I looked away and then I felt the tug, so I struck and he just went... Look at the bubbles he left behind. That was amazing. <laughs> I didn't need any more convincing. Time for a surface <laughs> lure. Visiting, mate. On surface, babe. Yes. This was a pretty solid fish, too. I'll be net lady. On the surface, that's my favourite way to catch them. How good's that? <laughs> Absolutely slurped it off. Those little assist hooks don't miss them. I also pulled the six weight fly rod out and managed a nice fish on that. Got to be one on here. Yep, there was one on there. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Mm, yeah, I think he's a bit bigger than the other one. Oh, he's just, just pinned. Holy smoke. That's why you need sharp hooks. Look at that. There's just a thread of flesh holding that. I wonder it didn't pull out, but they're, no, they're pretty tough. Oh, came out so easy though. I'll pop him in the well in case there's another one in here. But as fast as they'd come on, the brim went off the bite as the tide turned and began to run out. So we figured it was time to head down the front for a look. There was plenty of life down in the front channel. Look at this one right in front of us. Including some big eagle rays cruising and feeding in the weedy shallows. But it wasn't a ray that Joe hooked on almost her first cast with a little squidgy. He's going. Giving me a chance? No, not yet. My tiny little thousand size reel. <laughs> <laughs> she was feeling a tad undergunned on her brim gear.
mystery fish in the Tannin Waters of Anson Bay. Just gonna have to walk around. There's a good fish. I might have a look at him. It's gotta be a big trout. Yeah, I can feel his thumping tail so yep. I'm for that. What colour? Silver? Oh, here he goes. Oh, he's a good Come back, babe. Big. Oh, well done. Get a photo of that. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that in this shallow water, I must say. <laughs> it's an amazing place, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, here he comes. Whew, nice, Drew. He picked up a bit of salad there with him. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. It was my turn next, and those kookaburras were laughing again, perhaps at my choice of tackle. I was seriously undergunned. <laughs> Look at it, looks like a washing line. I had so much line out, and so much weed <laughs> caught on it. Oh, he's a big one. It really, really is. That is a cracker. I had to do a spot of impromptu gardening. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh my goodness. It was a bit crazy through all that weed. That is a big silver trevally. It's amazing. Beautiful fish. Jeez, heavy. It's another one. Yep. Vera wasn't going to be left out either. She was up next. Okay, there he is. Nice. He's not done yet. How much fun are they? Oh, he's a nice one. Yeah, he's not ready for me to net him yet. Oh, he's, oh, he's a cracker. All right, lift his head up. Oh, here we go. All right, lift his head towards me. If he doesn't want it. Really? Oh, really? Yay! Yeah. 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 Right, uh, open your bar Ah, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> With the Trevally obviously on the job, I figured it might be the perfect opportunity to pin one on fly. So I pulled out the six weight and began firing a weighted shrimp pattern up and across the run out tide on a floating line and a long leader. <laughs> and I wasn't left wondering for very long. <coughs> Got him on. It wasn't a huge fish, so I opted to play it on the line rather than getting it back onto the reel. Oh, 
Oh, it's a small trevally. It's our eating one. <laughs> it started playing up a bit now. Thank you. Oh well, it wasn't the big one I wanted, but it's a start. No monster, but a nice fish on fly. Let's see if there's a bigger one out there. Straight away I hooked up again and this one felt a bit different. Not the big one. It's a brim. It's a good brim too. <laughs> oh that's cool. It hit much closer to the boat than the Trevally have been. We've been seeing a lot of brim. <sighs> Thank you. That's a nice brim. down here in the front channel they're uh, pretty spooky on the run in tide when the water's clear I think they're almost impossible but now that it's dirtied up a little bit on the run out there's my pink shrimpy fly in the corner of his mouth it's good Up you go, mate. we kicked off with brim and I guess it was fitting that we finished on brim Anson's Bay is a very special place in my book. It's far enough off the beaten track to escape a lot of fishing pressure and in many ways it's a glimpse of what so many of our little estuaries and coastal lagoons must have been like before nets, development, pollution and a hundred other human factors conspired to degrade and diminish them. In many ways it's a time capsule from the past, something worth preserving and also something to aspire to in other places. Until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines.